Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today we're doing an MDT 2013. Now, I received an email from one of my viewers, one of my subscribers, and he wants to know the what upgrade path for upgrading MDT 2013 with ADK for Windows 8.1 deployment. He wants to upgrade it to MDT 2013 uh, Update 2, uh, which, one, which is actually the latest one, and also ADK for Windows 10 deployment. So it's pretty easy. Uh, so I'm going to close this up and the first thing that we need to do is or what I recommend is get a full complete backup of your machine. If you're running your MDT server within a virtual environment it's really easy just take a snapshot you're good to go. If not if you're running a uh, your MDT server within a hardware environment I recommend doing a Windows image backup or creating a, re a system restore point. Uh, for me, I have a virtual machine, so I could take a snapshot. But if you guys don't have a virtual machine, I would go inside your server manager. I'll install Windows Service Backup row and just uh, create a backup. Like I created a backup yesterday of this entire machine. And if anything happens, I could recover it back to the original state, right, before I, I push out, you know, the update. Uh, another thing that I do recommend is go inside wherever you have your deployment share. Like I have my deployment share in the C drive back up this entire folder place this folder in inside another network share folder just back it up right just back everything up because this is where everything lives your task sequence your applications your drivers your operating systems everything lives in here as well as your custom settings ini file and your bootstrap just back up this folder so uh, it took me a while to actually retrieve the old school MDT 2013 it's because nowadays when you search MDT 2013 you're gonna get only the MDT 2013 update 2 uh, installation files so I'm gonna go inside the control panel and I'm gonna show you guys that I do have the old school one so I'm gonna go programs and features and I have the MDT uh, 6.2.5019 which is actually old school MDT 2013 and I have the the ADK uh, for Windows 8.1 so the first thing that you guys need to do is download the files I downloaded my MDT 2013 update 2 64 bit because that's what I'm pushing out and find the latest and greatest ADK setup for Windows 10 that's really easy those two things are extremely easy the next thing that you need to do is uninstall your Windows ADK 8.1 for your machine that's the first thing that you need to do so I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna uninstall it Okay, so it's going to basically say, are you sure you want to uninstall the Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit for Windows 8.1? Yes, I do. So let's click on yes. So right now, it's going to take a while for it to remove it. Uh, it's a pretty big installation. It's about 3.2 gigs. Uh, so this is where you go get a grab a cup of coffee and then come back. It should be done and we're going to continue. Okay, so uninstalling is completed. That's great. So we're going to close this up. And you uninstall the old ADK. Now we need to install the new ADK before we even upgrade our deployment to the latest and greatest, which is MDT 2013 update 2. Uh, so I'm going to go here in the desktop. I'm actually going to close this up. Uh, and then we're going to double click on the ADK setup. And as you can see, this is the latest one for Windows 10. It's going to take 4.1. Uh, Windows 8.1 ADK actually took 3.2 gigs. It's crazy. Uh, I'm going to leave it as the default. I'm going to click on next. Uh, no, I don't want to participate, so let's click on next on that. Uh, read all this if you have time. I'm just going to accept it. I'm going to leave all the defaults, which is the deployment tools. The Windows PE is the ICD and the user state migration tool and the Windows performance toolkit. Uh, I'm going to leave that stuff default. So I'm going to click on install. And it's done, guys. All right, Windows ADK version 10 uh, for our Windows 10 deployment is completed. Awesome. So we're going to close this up. And the next thing that we need to do is run our MDT 2013 installation file. So we're going to double click on this. And as you can see, I am going to be running uh, and installing or upgrading to uh, MDT 2013 update 2. And this is the version right here. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to control panel because I want to make sure uh, that you guys can see that I'm running the old version. This, so this is the old version. And uh, this installation is going to upgrade this. So let's close our control panel and let's go to next. We're going to accept the license agreement. Click on next. I'm going to leave it as the default. If you guys change, now make sure you change this. If you guys move your uh, your MDT 2013 
file somewhere else, make sure that you browse that same location. Okay. Uh, for me, I left it in the C drive, so I'm going to leave it be. So let's click on next. Uh, I'm not going to join, so click on next and install. So installing our MDT 2013 update 2 is completed. We're going to click on finish. And my shortcut to my workbench uh, disappeared, so I'm going to right click here and unpin it. And we're going to go into the start menu. And we're going to locate our new deployment workbench. And we're going to pin it back to our taskbar. And we're going to launch it for the first time. Again, we're upgraded uh, to the latest and greatest. And once our workbench launch up, next thing that we need to do is to see if our deployment share is there. Okay, so our workbench loaded up. So let's click on a node. And as you can see, there's a nice little exclamation point. Uh-oh, what happened? So let's click on the drop down. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Don't freak out, okay? You're going to right click and you're going to up Upgrade your deployment share. Click on that, and it's going to give you a nice little window upgrade. Upgrade your deployment share wizard. So we're going to click on next, and it's going to run its thing. It's going to run all the scripts that it needs to upgrade your deployment share to get you up and running with MDT 2013 update two. And the upgrade is completed. We're going to hit finish. Now the exclamation point is gone. Your MDT deployment share is there. It's going to load up all the nodes, which is awesome. I'm going to click on my operating system. My operating system is there for my old MDT 2013. My task sequence is there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And that's it, guys. That is how you upgrade uh, to the latest and greatest MDT 2013. Uh, a couple of things before I let you go. One, make sure that you back up your, your hardware. Make sure you back up your server. Uh, if you're using Windows Server 2012 like I am, I use the Windows Server Backup Utility. Use that. If you're using a virtual machine, take a snapshot of it. But most importantly, make sure that you back up your entire deployment share folder into another location before you do the upgrade. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Do not forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.